Hi guys, Ian Johnson from DriverSuccess.com. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about marketing and sales and I'm going to simplify the importance of lead generation. And what I want to do today is I want to dispel this myth that a lot of companies believe that marketing and sales are separate from one another. Anytime you hear someone say, listen, we need to just focus on sales, we'll take care of marketing after, or we'll take care of marketing later, this is what you need to show them. And I'm going to show you how to show them why marketing and sales are one and the same. Okay? I've worked with a lot of companies and I've come across this problem a lot. This perception that marketing and sales are different, does, it doesn't hold any water. And I'm going to show you why. Okay? There are essentially two ways to generate leads. Marketing generates a lead or sales generates a lead. Marketing generates a lead through marketing campaigns and sales can generate a lead through cold calling. Now, I've done a video on cold calling and a link has probably popped up above my head. You know, cold calling is a viable way to generate a lead. This video will explain to you how to use your value assertion, how to use leading questions with customers in order to get them to talk about their fears and concerns in order to tie in solutions to your value assertion. But the problem with, with, with cold calling is that it's a, an invasive act, okay? And what I mean by this is that, think about it from a customer's perspective. They get a call from a salesperson they've never spoke to before about a company they know nothing about, about a product that almost sounds too good to be true from a salesperson. And the problem is being caught off guard in, in cold calling is not comfortable. And if you want to have a perfect example of that, just ask yourself how you feel when you get a telemarketing call. So cold calling works, but it's not the best way to reach customers and it can only generate so many leads. So, I had a customer that was relying entirely upon cold calling, and I was trying to explain to them that you need to generate more leads. And they were saying, listen, just, just focus on sales, we'll take care of the marketing after. And this is how I showed it to them, okay? We looked at the number of leads that were generated by cold calling, and we analyzed it over a couple of months, and we found out that the average number of leads through cold calling was 10. In this case, the salesperson would call all these customers and they came up with the opportunity to provide 10 quotes with 10 customers that were interested enough to say, yes, please quote me. Now, the closing rate during this period was 20%. 20% 20 of 10 quotes is two order. Okay? Now, we went from 10 to 30 leads. 20% of 30 is 6 orders. 50 leads with the same closing rate of 20% is 10 orders. 100 leads with the same closing rate of 20% is 20 orders. 200 leads with a closing percent of 20% is 40 orders. Finally, 1,000 leads, 20% is 200 orders. Now, when you look at this, what has changed? My closing rate is the same, but my orders have increased. Why have they increased? because the number of leads have increased. But here's the kicker, okay? You can only generate so many leads through cold calling alone. The only number of leads we generated on average in any given month was 10. We couldn't generate more than 10 from cold calling. So how do you go from 10 to 30, from 30 to 50, 50 to 100, 100 to 200, 200 to 1,000? How do you increase the number of leads? You can't just do it with cold calling. This is why marketing and sales are one and the same. They are the same thing. The only way you're going to increase the number of orders is by increasing the number of leads, the opportunities for sales. So when I talk to a company that says, you know what, focus on sales first, we'll take care of marketing after. My answer to them is, sales isn't your problem. Your problem is, a lack of opportunity to make sales. 
this is how you explain that to them. All right? So understand, you can only do so much with cold calling. You need a marketing plan that increases leads. And, and this is the most important aspect of this, okay? When you do cold calling, you're trying to generate leads, your closing rate isn't that high. But when you generate leads with customers calling your company, your closing rate goes up 25%, let's say. It goes, let's say it goes from 20 to 25%, or maybe even 30%. Now, why does it go up? Because customers are much more relaxed when they call into your company and they're interested in your product. And an argument can easily be made that the people that call into your company are more qualified than the ones that you're cold calling because those individuals know they're interested in what you have to offer, okay? So please understand something. Marketing and sales is one and the same. Get rid of this mindset that sales is separate from marketing, okay? Marketing generates leads. Sales closes leads. Company gets money and invests back into marketing, okay? It is a constant feedback loop. So that's it, marketing and sales, the importance of lead generation. Don't take this mindset, focus on sales, we'll take care of marketing after, it doesn't work. So that's it, marketing and sales, lead generation, Ian Johnson, DriveSuccess.com, bye-bye.